Hi, this is John Kanopoulos from our center here in Athens, Greece, the Laser Vision uh, Amputee Surgery Center, directly into a very hot topical um, topic, rather, uh, within the cornea, cornea infections. This is the left eye of a 40-year-old craftsman, and this is how we saw him last week. With a chronic, what he was described, infection, he's on topical voriconazole and aphotericin, uh, and also fortified vancomycin. You can see the cornea is essentially opaque. He had an injury about um, four months ago, probably an infection. Uh, and the big question here is where do you stop investigating in the um, microbe and uh, start treating with steroids? He has not used steroids yet. Um, his epithelium is intact, uh, as we will see here. Uh, so we took the tough decision into administering here with uh, their light perception vision, um, topical dexamethasone three times a day, autologous serum, and uh, oral doxycycline in the form of Oracel, which is 40 milligrams enteric coated uh, doxycycline to help with anti proteolysis. And the impressive uh, uh, change, which I think I kind of gave away, is this image the next day. This is one day on steroids. His vision has jumped from bare light perception to count fingers at uh, three feet. This is just one day uh, to show the power of uh, uh, topical corticosteroids. And I know it's a very difficult decision to make, especially um, in the foundation of a serious cornea infection, but so important as um, the day before we were talking cornea transplant here, we still have hope that uh, this may clear up uh, we'll, of course, put him on topical corticosteroids for several months. And, of course, this establishes establishing uh, the fact that he no, does not have an active infection anymore. See how within a day uh, with steroids, his uh, edematous cornea with an almost uh, uh, epithelium that has detached from the rest of the cornea is uh, uh, essentially normalizing. We can also see with the uh, um, angio flow um, OptoView OCT with great detail for any cysts. We can mag these up and see if there's any kind of amoeba cysts in lieu of uh, confocal microscopy. And if we look at the cornea thickness maps, you can see here the day that we started the treatment. Uh, and you can see here, this is July 11th. Um, we're at 647, where the next day, um, uh, a few days later, July 14th, uh, the cornea thickness has already dropped 100 microns. Uh, so dramatic improvement uh, of uh, uh, this uh, prognosis for this patient. And again, a difficult decision uh, on the fact on a patient like this does deserve early on treatment with corticosteroids because in essence, you can kill the uh, microbe with all the antibiotics and antimycotics, but again, you can kill the cornea as well. So take home message here. And I know I'm on the side of uh, cornea colleagues are uh, towards using corticosteroids early on. We have the other side that uh, like to wait in lieu of preserving vision, I uh, still advocate corticosteroids early on. Thanks so much for your attention.